Hello, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of The Rundown. On this week's show, we'll head down south and highlight the performances of several NCAC student-athletes that excelled on their spring break training trips. First in men's golf, the Kenyan Lords were extremely busy last week as they combined to play 108 holes of tournament golf over a seven-day stretch. Kenyon opened the week by finishing 6th out of 13 teams at the tailor-made Adidas Intercollegiate, played at the Par 72 Cotton Dyke Island Cotton Dyke Course in Dowtow Island, South Carolina. The Lords carded a 54-hole score of 952, which included an opening round 313, while host Ohio Wesleyan finished 5th overall in the team standings with 939 total strokes. The Lords then hit the links just three days later at the prestigious Jekyll Island Collegiate, played at the Pine Lakes and Oleander Courses in Jekyll Island, Georgia. Playing against some of the nation's top-ranked squads, the Lords finished 26th overall at the event with a 54-hole score of 941. And following the 108 holes of competition, Kenyan junior Ryan Muthora was named the NCAC Men's Golfer of the Week after finishing in a tie for fourth in the individual standings at the tailor-made Adidas with a three-day score of 225 that included a one under par 71 in the second round. The native of Zion Crossroads, Virginia, then finished in the middle of the field at Jekyll Island in a tie for 76th with a 54-hole score of 230 that was highlighted by an opening round 2 under par 70. NCAC men's golf teams do return to the course this week with four total events on the schedule, led by Allegheny and Worcester, both competing on their spring break trips in Florida and North Carolina, respectively. Four different NCAC women's golf teams were in action last week across the South, led by the DePaul Tigers finishing in the top 10 at the Women's Jekyll Island Collegiate that was played at the Indian Mound Golf Club in Jekyll Island, Georgia. In a field that featured many of the nation's top teams, the Tigers finished 7th out of 23 with a three-day tally of 964, that included a 317 in round two. Individually, DePaul sophomore Larissa Loloff collected the NCAC Women's Golfer of the Week honor after she cracked the top 10 at Jekyll Island by finishing in a four-way tie for sixth place out of 120 total players. Loloff, who resides in Cary, Illinois, finished off the three-day event with a 54-hole score of 233 that did include a two over par 74 in the second round. And over the course of the tournament, Loloff recorded 30 pars, three birdies, and carded one of just three eagles in the tournament field. There are just three women's golf events scheduled for this week, led by Allegheny kicking off its spring season on Thursday with a duel against NCAA Division II Eckert in St. Petersburg, Florida. And finally, the Ohio Wesleyan men's tennis team continued its red-hot start to the spring season last week in Florida by posting an overall record of 4-1 with wins coming against McMurray, Scranton, Cornell College, and Illinois Wesleyan. OWU sophomore Jack Hibbert played a vital role in the Bishop's success over the week and was thus named the NCAC Men's Tenors Player of the Week for his efforts. In the five matches combined, the Valparaiso, Indiana native posted a personal record of 7-2, which included a pair of wins in the third singles flight against Scranton's Matt Prendergast and Illinois Wesleyan's Ryan Yu. The Bishops, who are now 10-3 overall in the season, highlight another action-packed week of NCAC men's tennis by traveling to Oberlin on Saturday for the first NCAC East Division matchup of the season. And as always, NCAC sports fans, 
for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference. You can visit our website at www.northcoast.org. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. Well, that puts a wrap on this week's show, but be sure to join us again next time for another edition of The Rundown.